on this program we let you in on everything happening in cross river state you know this is the people's government and the the dispensation has decided to be people sensitive and of course everyone is waiting to see what plays out in all the respective ministries in cross river state in the people's government today we'll be talking about one of the critical aspects of governance which is education that is the bedrock of every society and i'm here with someone who has always been a rescue mission he was made commissioner for education across the state by the senator <coughs> previously the two led administration and of course he resumed hit the ground running rescuing there are different reforms in cross rivers and today we want to hear from him how far he has gone yeah, welcome to the program thank you so that is uh, senator stephen adiodi so, so let, let's hear from you briefly i want to start with your experience you were in charge of the basic education and of course this in this dispensation you are in charge of education subsector in the whole state so um how far have you gone in your rescue mission operations and what is your experience well is it is don't forget let me first thank his excellency the the governor of cross river state senator prince bassi there to two who gave me this opportunity to pilot the affairs of the ministry like you rightly pointed out i had been in a suburb for almost about seven years before now and you 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 can recall the reforms or that was undertaken in that sector and to know there's relative stability in that sector then coming to the ministry, of course, which I also oversee superb at the same time, my eyes is always there. Because I say, if you alter what I put in place there, then you are in trouble. <laughs> and that is why I've always said I'm on a rescue mission. Uh, mission. But the experience has been so fantastic okay. and uh, very demanding, of course. I'm sure I'm equal to the task because I have all it takes to pilot the affairs of this place. Okay. But it's very daunting. But I think we are facing the challenges square bound because we are not scared, because we are in a very popular terrain. All right. Mm. Okay, so let's talk about the standard of education. What did you meet on ground 10 months later? Are there any changes? Of course, of course. The first thing I did when I came here, schools resumed differently. Private schools on their own, public schools on their own. And I said, no, there must be coordination. And so there must be a uniform calendar for Cross River State. Mm -hmm. So if you are operating a private school in Cross River State, it must be regulated. And so I came up with the plan that you must have a uniform calendar, the same day to resume and the same day to shut down for the holidays. And of course, we are succeeding. Uh -huh. Like today, all the schools in the state have resumed today. Okay. So they will close at a situation where private school is some children are at home. If you have two or three children, some to private school, some to public school, why some are already in school, some will be playing at home. So I said no. And you can understand that some teachers can be teaching in about two or three schools sure. because of that opportunity. Sure. So in order to get it right, resume the same day. So that even if you are teaching in two schools, let me see how you can share yourself. So we've been able to stabilize that. That is one of the things. Of course, when I even came here, the result for junior secondary school and basic education certificate, usually they have been in areas. They were not released on time. Placement result where students who use for admission were not being computed and released. The staffs that are all the staff in that department mm -hmm. are on contract. Okay. And so they, they 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 couldn't produce the result. There was a backlog of about three years. Wow. And when I came in and said, I give you the director here, two weeks, this result must be out. As I talked to you, we have cleared all those backlog. And so we are on the next page. So what now. they couldn't do in three years? It yes. They did it in two weeks. Two weeks. So what magic? I was coming to work even on Saturdays and Sunday with the directors and the staff in that department. Wow. I used to sit there. Okay. And at the end, they say, Commissioner, we are finished. I say, thank <laughs> God. So it is leadership <laughs> that matters. That was what makes the difference. Yes. All right. So if you're just joining us, this is Inside Crossover. All right. So, so I, I want to also get to um, your own uh, thought on the teacher's continuous uh, institution. Uh, has that um, institution been put into effective use so far? Because oh, you, play, you played a critical role in the establishment of that institution. Yes, uh, like uh, uh, those who don't understand, it's not a conventional institution. Okay. It's a teacher training where you have to train and retrain people. 
not only for Cross River State. Mm -hmm. Other states are even supposed to take advantage of that world class facilities that mm -hmm. is there. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the Director General, Professor Adedeji, I think is very versatile. One time a former Minister of Education. I think he's doing a great job there. And we are believing that uh, very soon, even the, the Vice Chancellor of uh, the University of Calabar paid me a cost visit here last week, mm -hmm. came with a proposal of their willingness to train and retrain our teachers okay. and even promise that if such consideration is granted by his excellency they will even want to take advantage of that institution okay. because they are aware that it has even boarding facilities so that even teachers from other states even if you are going there you are not going to look for accommodation where to hang accommodation is provided in that institution so for me i think that is a good decision okay. and uh, very soon as we begin to unbundle our uh, 2024 uh, budget, mm -hmm. we will see a lot of training and retraining of teachers because if the governor can afford to pay as much as he has done for cross variance, paying over 440 million for our ex-students, the quality and caliber of teachers will determine the, the excellent result we will get. Mm -hmm. So if the government has invested so much by paying such huge amount of money for candidates mm -hmm. and we don't have good results, that means there's something wrong. And that is why there's emphasis on training and retraining of teachers. All right, so let's go to that very reform. One of the critical things that the governor of Christmas decided to do is to lessen the, the financial burden on, on parents by deciding to take up uh, the registration of uh, candidates of Christmas origin. So l let's um, know from you precisely, how did that process go? Well, it was a fantastic process. You know, I, I, like I told you, we issued a memo out to principals to submit lists to us, to the exam and certificate department. You note know that it is, the, it is not the responsibility of the Commissioner for Education to go to all the schools in the state. So the principals of those such schools are the representatives of the Commissioner mm -hmm. and the Governor okay. in their own right. Mm -hmm. And so I believe that whatever is submitted by those principals to me is believed to be authentic. But as human, there could be some few errors. So I subjected that exercise to some verification mm -hmm. to confirm the authenticity. Of course, don't forget, even before the exercise commenced, mischief makers started saying that we are padding the list. <laughs> you know? And of course, I was even confronted by His Excellency the Governor that the list that we submitted is being padded. I said, Your Excellency, not under my watch. And it can never happen. And at the end of the day, the, 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 the rumors started gaining ground from nowhere. And at the end of the day, I said, well, let me do my work and justify. Because the list has passed through so many hands. Let me confirm. And at the end of the day, we discover some typing errors and here, duplication here and there, which of course is negligible. So from the 16,301 list that was submitted to the governor, mm -hmm. which he paid, mm -hmm. When we verified the list, we noticed some duplication, which now came down to about 16,287. Of course, you should expect that there could be some typographical duplication here and there, which we've sipped out. So beyond that, it has been a very wonderful experience because the governor responded swiftly by releasing over 450 million. Mm -hmm for about 16,000, over 16,000 cross civilians, who of course necessarily some parents could not afford to pay that 27,000 naira per child. And so we did that and we submitted and the, the government has paid and the, the governor has released the money. We are now preparing for the WAIEC exams. But like I said, and like I have mentioned to you, mm -hmm. those mischief makers that are bent on trying to spoil people's image mm -hmm. in government, just for their selfish interest, they should stay away from Minister of Education <laughs> because Minister of Education is ready for them right. and will not do anything okay. that will jeopardize the good intention of His Excellency, the Governor of Cross River State. Right. We are here to serve and we'll serve him with the best of our abilities. Okay, so for and don't also forget, let me also add to you, mm -hmm. when I got that allegation, you know, as a lawyer, I had to write to the to the to, to Wayek. So please, there is so much strong allegation, pardon saga here. Take note. It is it's made on my integrity. Mm -hmm. Please, can you confirm whether there has been any issue concerning the list we submitted to you? Why I said, look, we don't play politics in Waiko. Keep us out of it. We have never mentioned list being padded anywhere in Cross River. And they followed up with that by writing formally to me. So I have a document from... So, so where, where did the rumor come from? Well, I, this rumor, like you are saying, but like I said, I became restless because 
I was confronted by His Excellency. Mm -hmm. Of course, he wanted to prove whether the allegation mm -hmm. is true or not. And I proved to him that it is not uh, true. And it, is, it has been portrayed by a document. Okay. You know, as a lawyer, you must document what you say. Sure. So even if you want, now nah, I can give it to you to <laughs> circulate it. You know, in the people's government, we need clarity. In the people's government, we are interested in every ministry. So the touch light will be pointed at all the reforms and everything playing out. And of course, we get to know the truth and interface and the people are also interested. Governor is interested. So it's no longer business as usual. Yes. I'm very interested in uh, what is playing out in the Ministry of Education. Because the principals, head teachers, everybody, all hands are now on deck. I see, I see some sort of vibrancy playing out in the education sector. Now, what should the people of Cross River State know in the days ahead moving forward? They should know that the man on this seat is a man that has come to work. Like I told you before, I've come to serve. Mm -hmm. Serve in the sense that the governor has confidence and trust in me. And I won't betray that trust. Okay. You know, trust is a body. Sure. And so I won't do anything. I will do, do everything humanly possible mm -hmm. so that cross civilians will begin to enjoy the education sector mm -hmm. in terms of quality education. Don't forget, there are going to be very tough reforms. And you will, be, you, you will be hearing a lot of accusation and attack on me. But you know, I'm used to it. You recall when we were in Zubeb, when no. we were back on the screen of teachers. Yes. People were shouting, they were, their result is authentic, their certificate is authentic. At the end of the day, I caught over 1,570 something teachers with trick certificate. That is now history. So a situation where a school principal who is incompetent sits there, is not even ready to take instruction. When once the leadership is weak, all the teachers under you, who, they can't perform their responsibility. Yeah. And so we are trying to rejig the system mm -hmm. by bringing out a lot of reforms. Mm -hmm. And that is why you discovered this money a, com a committee was just constituted yeah. by His Excellency to review some of the reforms we are coming out with. Mm -hmm. a, a situation where somebody sits there for 16 years as a principal. No innovation, no new ideas, no product productivity again. We well, said, look, why not we look at it to be tenure? After five or six years, you go inject new spirit that can come in with new innovation and new idea. And that will also checkmate this collection of money mm -hmm. by the, some, uh, the board. Where principal go to pay money to those in the whether secondary education board or super to be appointed as principal, vice principal, or head. They pay so much. Wow. Not only payment of uh, those uh, uh, monies, they also pay to be posted to bigger schools. So if it is your right to be principal, some other person who has the money can outpay you. For my findings, that is what is obtainable in the system. Wow. And that is what I'm trying to correct. Wow. So when you hear people resisting my reforms, just know that uh, I'm touching those who are involved. <laughs> and then you know what it means, change. The only thing that is permanent in life is change. Right. And the society is dynamic. So these reforms is to rejig the education sector. So that if you are a principal, maybe from level 16 or 17, automatically you can advance and become, without going to pay somebody money. So they say why you want to fight corruption? Corruption, corruption fights, fights back. back. Yes. So how ready are you? I'm very ready because I'm, I'm set to do the right thing. Okay. And you don't see, let me tell you why, why I'm not always scared of criticism from mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. is that when you, once you are doing the right thing, just like I told you about Waek, yeah. even all those mischievous people that went to tell governor the list was padded, I think they should be ashamed of themselves today <laughs> because nothing like that existed. So if you are interested on in this seat, go and tell the governor to make you. So if Waek has said there's no padding. Of course, there's no, and there's, but you know my background. And there's, there, there's, there's no justification. Exactly. No evidence. No evidence. <laughs> Nothing. You so, just sit, you hold your stomach and tell lies. This TV no day, baby, my sister is a prince, but he's trying to remove it. Don't forget that. This is the only sector you see wives of permanent secretary inside. Okay. You see wives of commissioner. Okay. So when you want to touch their wife, they will, they will want to say, look, let's do this, this. So that means your battle is going to be fierce. It's going to be fierce. And you're ready for it. But I'm ready to make them understand. <laughs> <laughs> so if they refuse to understand, what happens? Of course, it is only governor that can stop me. Okay. All right. The governor who appointed me, who is my father, okay. who is my protector, okay. is the only one that can say, Seretode, please stop this one. And I will stop because he's the one that appointed so me. I, I hear that you already have a petition from NUT. Of what course. What is it about? It is obvious. It is the right thing. 
Okay. Hey, you see those teachers that I'm, 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 I'm trying to reform yes. and say do the right thing. Are they are members of AUT? Okay. What do you expect? If you have spent 10 years and I'm saying, look, you are 10 years is overdue, why not give way for another, another person? person? Why would you not petition? <laughs> so that you can continue. Especially even those who have retired okay. or that are supposed to have retired. Mm -hmm. We say, look, you have been a prince by like 15 years. Mm -hmm. And then the government so magnanimously granted you additional five years. So look, why not give way for the vice principal who have been waiting there endlessly for you to retire? Mm -hmm. If government said stay another five years, you need to give way. Mm -hmm. And the plan we have is that we say, okay, we may deploy you as evaluator or school inspector. Mm -hmm. But their own, they didn't even look at the recommendation we are coming out or the reform we are coming out. They just say, okay, the Commissioner for Education wants to remove us as principal. It's not a chieftaincy title that they will say until you die before <laughs> they take another person. It's, it's a policy. <laughs> <laughs> So you just heard from the Commissioner for Education in Crescent State Senator Steve Nadiode, a man that has seven degrees. <laughs> and then, of course, um, you are a, a former senator and you, 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 you've served at all levels. So I want you to tell us about your thematic framework. What would be your specific framework on how you want to navigate the process? Besides the reform you are bringing right now, we are coming what out, other things? We are coming out with the roadmap okay. for the state. Okay. Because that roadmap will give us a clear direction. Okay. I don't pray, like I always tell you, I'm not an armchair commissioner. Sure. As I go out on the field to look at what happens, I mm -hmm. come out. Don't, you, don't forget that as, as, as somebody who was a doctor of uh, a law, a doctor of philosophy in this and that, like you said, seven degrees. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't educate myself to become a stupid man. Mm -hmm. I educated myself to come up with innovations, mm -hmm. new ideas. And that is why when I speak, I speak as an expert. And so when we come up with this uh, roadmap, we'll be able to focus on what is it going to be training like you asked. Because you cannot give what you do not have. Sure. And then we'll look at the infrastructural decay in the state. What and what can we do within the, the, the budgetary framework? And so many other things. Don't forget I uh, have also getting out, uh, uh, reaching out to development partners mm -hmm. across the country. Most times I go to Abuja and meet with uh, a lot of, I was with the, uh, the National Coordination of Safe School Initiative. Mm -hmm. Insecurity has become a, a very serious matter in the country. We are working on that. We are also working with the development partners with the World Bank in terms of uh, gay child education. And don't also forget that maybe because of this, my performance, I was single out, identified out of the thesis uh, commissioners in the country to head the gay child uh, education in, in Nigeria by the Nigerian Governors uh, Forum, Sorry, recently inaugurated in, the, in Abuja. Okay. So all these are areas that will come out and at the end of the day, when we come out with that rope map, mm -hmm. you will know exactly, we must have a direction mm -hmm. for the state. So that at the end of the day, I'll be competing with the Minister of Education in Abuja. Why he's struggling there? I will also be doing my own. He, he may even want to. He want to be a, a trailblazer. Of course, and you know. The, the rest of Nigeria can be copied. You know what happened in Subeb? Sure. Until the last day I left Subeb, I was given an award as the best Subeb chairman for excellent performance. Okay. All right, so Tyre, you've been interfacing at the national. How is Cross University being perceived nationally in terms of our performance <laughs> in the education sector? Are we doing well? Are we very well? What's the let me, let me, of let me quickly tell you, I have some personalities. You know, as somebody who has been a former senator, I interface with a lot of personalities across the country. I even interface with the vice president. And he said, look, distinguished senator, your governor is doing well. That sums it all. Okay. He's doing well in all areas of uh, interest. Education, health, road construction. Look at Calabar, he's been given a facelift. I've, I've always been worrying me, I say, Excellency, my own release, my budgetary provision, so that we can do more. You know. He's doing more. Very soon, there will be a going, there's going to be a joint consultative committee on education. Mm -hmm. And also, on Wednesday this week, mm -hmm. the, the, the permanent secretary, Federal Minister of Education, and the, a very serious delegation is coming to Cross River State to go and look at ITM Mugep. Okay. We, there's going to be a lot of collaboration. Okay. We are not relented. Right. The governor is not sleeping. The commissioner is not sleeping. You know, there's no place I will enter that the doors will not be open. <laughs> All right, so I can't wait. I'm feeling excited. And of course, 
like we always do it, we don't tell stories. We go to where it's happening and show you practically. As uh, the Ministry of Education is moving to the field, we'll be there as well to let you in on what the ministry is doing and the policy direction for crossover in the education sector. So before we go, I want you to talk directly to the private school owners, the government school owners, those in the education sector across board. What is your specific message to them? Get ready. I will be in your school anytime. <laughs> All right, so don't, for, don't forget, let me okay. tell you this. Okay. I have told you I'm not an armchair commissioner. Sure. I love seeing things myself. Sure. So that I can make my input and make recommendations to the governor. Mm -hmm. It is only when you are able to identify an ailment that you find solution to it. Mm -hmm. So for me, let them watch out. Because I can appear in your school anytime. Right. And if you are not there, you are in trouble. Right. So, and another thing I have to let those private school owners know, all those that are running illegal school, very soon I will shut down those schools. Okay. Come and get your schools properly registered. You cannot operate a school when you don't have a conducive learning environment. environment. So a situation where you get one small mushroom building and you operate, carry nonsense children and lock inside there and say you are operating a school, be ready, we will shut down those schools. Come and follow due process. If it's, it's a serious business. It's not for all commas. It's not for anybody to say, I have, the cap I have one classroom block, then I want to open a school. It is no longer business as, uh, as usual. usual. All right. Okay, thank you very much. We keep giving you updates, keeping you abreast. I will let you know that in the Ministry of Education, the Commission has said it, it has been on rescue mission. He decided to hit the ground running and it's not stopping anytime soon. But let me be to that plan of the program remains inside Crossover. One thing is certain we have just one Crossover state and we have to support the Senator Prince Basset and the two led administration for us to build the Crossover state of our dream. That's one thing you must do as a Crossoverian. Anywhere you find yourself, put your best foot forward because together we'll move Crossover forward. I'll see you some other time. Bye bye.